see you guys. I made it in uh, to work yesterday. Well, for some of you that don't know, my little cousin, uh, my little cousin got killed in a car wreck on Saturday night, and um, I found out on Sunday. Uh, on Sunday, so uh, her mom just hasn't been doing too too well with this. So this has kind of really been hard. Really kind of been hard on the family. So. I stayed home yesterday. It's really devastating me, you know, especially when you know a person from when they carried that little baby in the womb and she was only 18, hit by a drunk driver, you know, and it's just really upsetting. I'm, I mean, that drunk driver, <clears throat> basically somebody running from the police. Long story short, he hit her going like 97, for real, for real. He hit her going like 97 and it was just a bunch of bullshit. And it had me mad, upset, and pissed off. And, you know, wanting to fight all the all the drunk drivers and the police chasers and all of that stuff. You know, some, there's something that's going to have to be done. Police need to stop chasing people in certain areas after they get to a certain point or when they're in, uh, you know, subdivisions or rural areas or whatever it's called. As the police get to a certain point, the police are going to have to start stop chasing people because to me the police are just as much as fault as that the guy that hit her was they said that it was he was going 97 he had went around this other guy and basically he wasn't going to stop until he hit somebody long story short that from what they were saying there was no way to avoid that accident my poor little niece she didn't even see what she didn't even know what hit her she didn't even know what hit her so I'm at work, it's like 5.46, sorry, my nose sniffing, and I walked, it's cold outside, it's very cold outside, oh, and I still got up and tried to put on a little bit of face today, <laughs> um, look, I, yeah, I know I put these on Saturday, y'all, and look, one of the nails missing, I don't even know when it popped off, I didn't feel it popped off, I think it popped off last night, though, yeah, when I put my, my baby um, when I put my baby up on my lap, but, yeah, I put my daughter up on my lap, y'all, and I lost one of my DIYs, but, hey, y'all know that's how I go, I had to wear these little head wraps, I, uh, cut my hair down into a little wild little fro, because, honey, one, this was one of them weeks where I had to recycle my unit, so I'm gonna get something, I'm gonna do something to my hair this weekend, but I don't know what I'm going to do. I've gotten so spoiled. I'm really, I've gotten so spoiled to wearing units and stuff. I've gotten so spoiled wearing my units to wear sometimes. Or oh, it had to be the good morning or it have to be something like a 27 piece or something like that. And I don't even know if I feel like doing it. I really just want to slip my handbag and get up and put something on my head and go. But the thing is, I don't know what I want to do to my hair though, so... That's the thing about that, but I just wanted to share a little bit with you guys today. Let y'all know I'm a little bit heartbroken because one of my favorite people in the world today is picking out caskets for her oldest daughter, and that's just bothering me. It's been bothering me ever since I found out. I think everybody feels the same way, you know. She was 18 and she didn't even get a chance to live all over some bullshit with the police chasing a, ne a negro and all of this, chasing somebody, you know. I don't know what he had on him. I don't know if he just probably had some crazy ass warrants. I don't know what he had, but message to the police and just people, period. Y'all, be more safe. Stop getting y'all asses in these cars and then when the police behind you you just taking off running from the damn police because y'all always end up killing an innocent ass person now everybody devastated and gotta go through all this hurt and pain and heartache because y'all done took somebody we love away that's bullshit it needs to be some rules or some type of something to this because police i'm starting to fault you guys too first of all because it's not making i'm starting to fault the police too because they need to know when to stop chasing people. Yeah, they the law, but at a certain point, y'all got to give a damn about the pedestrians and the other people that's in these damn cars and stuff. Because I've seen police hit people, too, in, police, in, in high speed chases. So there's going to have to be some type of something done because y'all killing too many innocent ass people. Facts, for real. And that's just how I feel about it this morning. Y'all 
was killing and people like well how the police doing that and they doing their job no to me anytime it fits a, it fits a person or anything it don't matter if it's the police or a, 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 or, a, or a civilian to me it don't matter if they endangering the lives of innocent ass people there is a damn problem y'all need to stop getting y'all ass on this road or whatever y'all got in the court whatever's going on y'all need to start thinking about other people all you thinking about is your damn self and then you done crashed into somebody 97 miles an hour and took her out of here 18 that just got ready to start living her life just graduated last year and everything and now she gone because of your ignorant your ignorant ass choosing not to stop that's my message this morning just learn how to stop just stop and police if these dudes should study driving and driving y'all gonna have to get to a point too where y'all just stop that's my message for today now families is hurt devastated a mother just devastated devastated just she just devastated and, and it hurts me to just see one of my favorite people hurting like this. Just hurt, just hurt, just hurt. So my message for all y'all crazy ass who want to get in these cars and high speed chase and the police want to chase y'all or as in y'all want to run from the police, just stop. Just stop. Something has to be done about this because it's getting too ridiculous and too many people are losing their loved ones because y'all ass won't stop. S-T-O-P. Just stop. I don't give a damn if you got warrants. Whatever your ass got, you're just going to have to pull over like the rest of us have to. Sorry. That's it. That's all. That's the facts of the day. Happy Tuesday, everybody. Keep your head up. Just, just stop, like I said. I love you all.